We know millions delighted in watching the eclipse from the ground. But significantly fewer got a very mm -hmm. different view of this celestial event. They bought tickets for eclipse flights. Our Brian Sherman was on one of those planes and joins us live from Metro Airport with more on uh, what the eclipse was like from several thousand feet in the air. Brian. Yeah, that's right, Devin and Karen. 37,000 feet to be exact is where our plane was flying today. One of the two Delta Airlines flights for the solar eclipse. The first one, the one I was on, Austin Bergstrom International up to Detroit Metro. The other one from Dallas Fort Worth International also up to Detroit Metro. We both landed within 10 minutes of each other and both went through the path of totality about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes after we took off from our respective airports. This is some video I shot on the plane as we were going through the path of totality. Our talented pilots started with the path of totality and that eclipse on the right side of the plane, did a few maneuvers and got it over to the left side of the plane so everybody could get a view. We were in the path of totality for roughly five to six minutes before we turned back off to the northeast and continued our track up to Metro Detroit. It was an awesome sight and while everyone really enjoyed this experience, one couple made it even better with something that happened after we got out of the path of totality. I, I just remember, I was like, Neil, did you see it? Did you see it? And he's like, yeah. And then next thing I know, he pops to question. And I was so excited and nervous. And I, ha I was just, like Neil said, it's one of those things you're never going to forget. So not one good events, but two with that proposal happening on the plane. Delta Airlines switching out the aircraft for this plane so we could all get maximum viewage using the Airbus A220 that had the largest windows that they have in the fleet, taking us about three to three and a half hours from Austin up to Metro Detroit, running at almost 600 miles an hour. It was an awesome experience. For now, reporting live from Metro Airport, I'm full-worn meteorologist Brian Sherman. Devin and Karen, we'll send it back to you guys. Oh, that's really great, Brian. Love it.